Hello everyone. So now I'm going to show you how I carve a prop. So in the previous video I showed you how I get from the laminated prop block to the stage where we've got the view, front view, which is the same as the back view of course, and the profile or side view of the prop. As I mentioned in that video, you could carve the prop so that this is the front, right? Uh, or you could carve it so that that's the front. In the end, it'll, you know, it'll work either way. Or you could set it up so that it's something more symmetrical, intermediate. So I always, or well, at least lately for me, I've preferred that this is the front. I like setting them up this way. Anyway, so how do we carve this? Well. The shape of the block, the blank, determines now the prop pitch. Okay, so for example, if this dimension here was greater, you'd end up with more pitch. And if it was smaller, you'd end up with less pitch. Similarly, if the width across the prop was wider, you'd end up with less pitch. If the width across the prop is narrower relative to the, the thickness, you end up with more pitch. Okay, so the shape of the block, or of course its diameter, very much determines the pitch and, the, and of course the PD, the pitch to the diameter ratio, all of that is determined by the block shape itself. So all we're doing now when we carve it is essentially just getting rid of the material that, that prevents our prop from functioning properly. So where do we carve it? Well, the way I always remember it is that torque makes our airplanes turn to the left. And that's because if, if you're looking in the direction of the airplane, if the airplane were going to turn to your left, which is that way, my right, then the direction the prop has to rotate to make the airplane back here turn this way, the prop has to rotate the opposite direction, right? And so that means that this is the direction my prop is going to be turning, which means that this is my leading edge here, and this is my trailing edge here, which means I've got to carve all of this stuff here away. So I can, so what I always do is I mark it off. So if I look at my prop, my prop is going to turn as, you know, in the flight direction, my prop will, prop will turn counterclockwise, oh, sorry, clockwise, not counterclockwise, but clockwise, right? Such that the airplane will be torqued to the left when the prop is rotating clockwise, which means that this all of this needs to be carved away on this side. I always do the underside first and then all of this on this side needs to be carved away. So I've marked off that it's going to be the back face and this face here that I have to carve away to do the back side. I always start with the back side. So first step is just get the basic carving done. So essentially just taking off big slices. If you did if I were to do the opposite, if I were to carve this corner away as the back side, or if I were to carve it from this side as the back side, so that face and that face, I'd get the opposite pitch. I'd have a prop that rotates the other way. Okay. So that would be a prop that rotates counterclockwise in the direction of, you know, viewed viewed in the direction of flight which is okay, but then you have to wind your rubber motors backwards and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's just got the process started here. And so I use a long knife, long bladed knife for this. Uh, and I also use this curved knife. It's really handy. Both are uh, basically exacto blades. The long knife I just used to get the basic major carving done. Of course you could do part of this on a bandsaw, that will also make it faster. You want to take it so that you're starting to approach this, this corner here. Don't go all the way up to it, just get close to it. Be very careful as you approach that because you don't want to cut into this upper face because that basically changes, you're changing the width, you're narrowing the width of your blade then. So I just try to get into the neighborhood of that corner. 
you'll notice with these props that the um, the wood the plywood actually carves pretty well it's obviously harder but it carves fine outside because I'm shooting little bits of wood everywhere. I'm going to have to vacuum in here afterwards. Once I've gotten most of the carving done, like once I've gotten close to where I want to be, and I'll just slowly work my way there, then I'll start to sand in a little bit under camber onto the blade. So that's that. So this blade now I have to carve on this side, right? So that this is angled this way and this is going to be angled that way, right? This is a step. This initial car this initial cut is the most important one because this is the this is going to determine whether your prop is rotating to the clockwise or counterclockwise. So you want to really make sure you think through carefully what you're doing before you make that first cut. Once you're on your way, you're on your way. Now it's just removing material. The other advantage of these um ply cord props is that they're really strong in the center so you can grab them and push hard. A nice sharp blade makes this job a lot easier. This is one of those things, I know that um, prop carving is something that I think a lot of modelers are pretty intimidated by because it's such a complicated shape. But like I said, once you've got this basic blank shape, it's just not hard. Like it's, you just go outside and think of it as going out and just whittling on a stick. You just whittle away and slowly but surely you're just take everything that isn't prop out of there. Ultimately you want to slowly work your way towards having nice thin blades. You don't want thick blades, they're not as efficient. So nice thin prop blades and if you just patiently work at it slowly slowly don't try to rush it. I gotta be careful here. You see here I'm starting to cut into that back edge there. That's my trailing edge, so I don't want to do that, so I'm going to back off there. Sometimes you might accidentally cut into it. It's not the end of the world. Try to avoid taking it off. Just back out, pull your knife blade out, and you can just put a bit of glue in there, press it back down, and then keep on going. It's not a big deal. Worst case, if you do carve a big chunk out, just go find it and stick it right back in, or make a little piece of uh, Make a little repair on the fly and put your repair piece in there. It's not, uh, it's not a big deal. By the, time it's all, by the time all is said and done, you won't even be able to see the repair. Okay, so I'm going to, because now this is just going to be an hour of whittling, I'm going to leave it there, because I will finish the back faces. So I, I'm going to end the video. I'll complete my whittling process until I've got the back faces carved close and then I'll show you how I approach the sanding. And then the next video after that we'll be doing the fronts and uh, incrementally we'll work our way towards having a prop. But you can already see it starting to take shape. Um, and you can see it's not a difficult thing to do. Anyone can do this. It's just a matter of being patient and you know, 
sticking with it. Okay, have a good one.